Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com and welcome to another Android development tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the life cycle of an Android activity. So you might be asking, what is a life cycle? The life cycle of an Android activity is created in this nice little dialog chart over here from the developer um, website. So you can see when your activity is launched here in the blue, it goes through a process of uh, methods. We have an onCreate method, onStart, and onResume, and then your activity is officially running. So if you remember over here on the left, we have been using, I just have a basic project set up, and you can notice that we have an onCreate method here. So what's this doing is as your activity is launched, it's running this onCreate method. So anything inside of here, so right now we have the super.onCreate method, and then we have a set content view method, which is passing in the layout for our, our activity. All that is executed, and then it will move on to onStart, which is not implemented in this activity on the left. So once your activity is running, whenever, say, your phone gets a phone call or you launch a new screen, it's going to hit on pause. So that's where you'd want to do like all of your saving of your information, if you're filling in text boxes, your position in a list, stuff like that. And once your application is no longer visible to the user, it calls on stop. Now from on stop, your activity is still in the memory. It's just in the background it's called it Android puts it into a back stack so if your phone end up needing more memory your application can has the potential of being killed so, so to free up more memory so your phone can use the memory for other resources so when that happens once you launch your app again it's gonna go back up and it's gonna start your app all over and run on create if you're in on stop and your uh, user navigates back to the activity and it has not been killed yet and it's going to go to on restart, and that's going to start from the on start method. Same thing as if you're in on paused, and your user returns your activity, it's going to call on resume. And then once your activity is stopped, and you're f either you can manually finish your application, which closes your activity, it will call on destroy, and then your activity is shut down and can no longer be accessed until you restart your activity again. Then it will start from the very top and go through on create, on start on resume and then your activity is running again. So you can sort of follow this chart and see where it goes and what section of the flow you're in. So if you're on pause and you go back to your activity, it's going to go all the way up to on resume and so on. And so in our next tutorial, I'm going to give a, a quick demonstration of how to uh, implement all of these methods and then we will run the activity and we'll log out into our console or what they call it the log cat and we can see exactly when these fire off and as what is happening on the device. So I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial on the activity lifecycle for an Android application. See you next time.